Hello everyone, let's play Miemon Takanishi Oendan. This should be the final chapter, but I've said that twice now and I've been wrong twice, so third time's a charm, right? Uh, first I'd like to explain what happened in the last video. There was a part where I recorded at like one frame per second. Basically there was my computer ground to a halt. It recorded nothing but like a loud screeching noise for a second. I thought about editing it out, but I decided to leave it in for posterity or just for the heck of it. Just so you can experience what it's like to see or, or watch your computer record at one frame. Anyways, what caused it? Well, a program called Adaware by Lavasoft. It decided to attempt to auto-update itself, even though I had the latest version, and it hijacked all my processor power, so I disabled that. In fact, I removed the program from my computer altogether because I don't have any spyware on my computer. So... Yes, that, that was annoying, but it shouldn't happen again. Alright, on to the final stage. Well, what I think may be the final stage of this game. Just gonna send my leader right out there. And do a one-hit kill. The leader is still hurt a little bit, but... We've got Baldi here, who can move nine spaces. I can't attack this guy, apparently. surprised to see him so close, actually. But I guess he's just gonna sit there. Alright, and... Can't go in that house. Guess I'll just kill this guy. In order to protect Wimpy over there. Wimpy and Drake just got out of the hospital. Uh, Drake is on level 11, and Wimpy's probably on level 9. Since you automatically gain one level per stage you survive through. And I think coming out of the hospital still counts. But still, uh, level 9 and level 11 are not, not at all powerful enough to take out on these opponents. Unless they get lucky. But I'd prefer to have them alive at the end of the game. Just, just because. Let's see, Drake is level 11. Oh, Wimpy is still on level 8. Well, he's he's, he, he's even, even, or in an even worse shape. And apparently I get control of this guy. Okay, uh, 999 health. Actually, I should have seen him down here when I hit start. I didn't notice there was an extra guy down there. Level 31, 999 health, 9 movements, 90 punching power, and 100 kick power. Or basically a copy of our leader. Except for the special moves. I'd say that's pretty good. Let's try him out. It looks like he has thick eyebrows. Thick, purple-ish looking eyebrows. His picture here doesn't look like it. I mean, he still has the wavy kind of eyebrows, but they're not purplish looking like in combat. I'm just saying, whenever he punches or hits someone, he looks funny. Might as well give him an item. And he still has a red background. Made me think out he was an enemy. Need to switch out his background for a white one. Well, if this is the last stage in the game, it's quite easy. And I'm sure if I could read the story, I would probably understand why this guy suddenly turned around and is helping us. But who cares? Just one of those things where they turn one of the bad guys around and have him help the good guys, but only for a very short period of time. Because this is probably at the end of the game.
so there's probably some reason why he couldn't help earlier or didn't want to. Maybe he was being blackmailed, or maybe he suddenly has... Or suddenly we have earned his respect or something like that. Who knows? Doesn't really matter. Okay, well, I don't know where to go. It looks like the door of that place is open, but I can't get in. Was there a plot? Was there a point? Of what we were- or is there some sort of points where we're doing something over here? Are we trying to rescue someone? I I'm not sure exactly what the plot is. Maybe if I knew the plot, I'd know where to go. Do we just leave now? Now we don't just leave. Uh, let's go around back. Hello? Anyone there? Oh look, a, a fresh wimpy character. He's only level 8. You can take him. I have brought you a very fresh sacrifice. Oh great boss demon. Come forth and destroy. No? Oh, there it is. Okay. I never tried that corner. I guess someone else was in the way. Well, it's appropriate to have my leader go in there. Okay. It's one of those inside fights. That makes sense. I guess I should have been expecting that. A bunch of enemies that are probably a bit more powerful, and then a true boss. This is probably the last stage of the game. I'm, I'm willing to... I'm willing to bet. I'm not willing to stake my reputation on it, but I, I'm pretty certain. I'm like 90... 90% certain. 95% certain. Ah, what the heck, you only live once, uh, I'm 100% certain. Might as well be, might as well be cocky about it. I would be happy and surprised if this wasn't the actual boss. I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised that, you know, the, the other guy wasn't the final boss. But I mean, guess, I mean, I guess we fought him, you know, a couple times before, so... It wouldn't be as interesting for him to be the boss. But still, it, it would have been good enough. And look, it's someone Drake can actually defeat, so that's... strange. Well, not really. I guess he just got a couple lucky hits. Alright, block. Okay, try blocking a kick, maybe. Okay, I should have blocked a punch. Uh, well, now he's gonna kick, right? No? Maybe I should just attack. Or not. He's gonna punch. Now he's gonna punch. Okay, Drake is making all the wrong moves. That's more like it. It feels like Drake has the worst luck. Out of all... Out of all the characters. At least when I'm using him. He gained a level, though. Might as well have Wimpy. Well, nah, Wimpy, stay back. I want you to live. I want to live! Don't kill me. I'm just a Wimpy person. I'm just good at counterattacks. Let's let the new guy, the bad guy leader, let's let him do it. Let's let curve, curvy eyebrows do it. I've got sinister eyebrows. I will confuse the opponent with my powerful eyebrows, and then I will defeat him in the confusion. It's the same basic tactic that our leader uses, except for he does it with puffy hair and, you know, designer sunglasses. Maybe they're not designer, but... They look like nice sunglasses. I think they're cooler than Drake's sunglasses.
Although Drake naturally throws his opponents off by being the only high school student there is with a mustache. Well, in this game, anyways. The only Japanese high school student with a mustache. It's like, oh my god, he has a mustache! I'm very intimidated. It's very frightening and confusing. 200 point kick. That'll take care of you. It's nice having insane movement. Makes things take a lot less time. <laughs> 